Hello eye tracking community. My name is Michael and in this video we will talk about how to find patterns in eye movements. In the previous video we have talked about gazes, saccades and fixations and areas of interest. And in this video we will bring all of them together and we will search for patterns in eye movements. Here we can see a stimulus from an eye tracking experiment and the task was please state whether there are two bars in this bar graph having the same value and state the labels of these two bars. So what we can see is it's obviously bar B and bar F. And now we're going to using um, areas of interest and I prepared here an area of interest map for us to analyze the eye movements and to find hopefully common eye movement patterns in the data. So the first thing what everybody is doing is we are visualizing the eye movements uh, with heat maps and scan paths. So here we can see the scan path of one participant performing this task. We can have a look at um, the scan paths of all the participants and try to find patterns and that's really not easy. You really have to go step by step through the participants, uh, make some notes on a paper, find interesting patterns and so on. Then uh, we can use um, heat maps. So please have a look into our videos uh, in our video about scan paths and heat maps um, to learn more about them. We can aggregate them for example and here we can see the aggregated heat map of all participants. The third way and uh, we talked about that in the episode number five in the previous video is to use areas of interest. For our stimulus I've prepared an areas of interest map which covers um, yeah, the task relevant areas on the stimulus. So we can see here the top of bar B is covered by an area of interest. We have the um, top of bar F, the labels and here something in the center because we talked, uh, we, we, we said to the participants that they should start their eye movements from the center of the screen. And just to verify that, I've drawn here an area of interest into, in, the, in, in the center. So in the previous video, we also talked about gaze duration statistics. So we can do that here as well. I'm going now to the gaze duration statistics and um, let's have a look, for example, at uh, the green participant. And we can do that for all the participants. We can export the numbers and we can calculate um, correlation. Um, we can analyze um, the correlation. We can calculate some significant values to t-tests, ANOVAs and so on. From here, that's standard, what we know in eye tracking research. And from here, we go now beyond scan paths and heat maps and use the features available in Blickshift Analytics to search, for example, for common eye movement patterns in the data. So let's have a look on the transition path of the participants. What the transition path is, I will tell you in a second. So we go to the AOI editor and I'm choosing um, visualizations a parallel scan path and I'm selecting here P2. And here you can see how the attention moved over the areas of interest. So what the participant has focused on. I can visualize in parallel where the participant have focused on. So with a um, scan path. And then you will immediately understand what is happening here in the parallel scan path. So this green participant P2, you can see it on the left side in the scan path, started the eye movements in the center of the screen. That's what we told them what they should do. On the right side, you can see this behavior in here. So we can see that there are fixations on the center AOI here shown on the most left side. So every area of interest which we have drawn here, so center, um, label B, label F, top B, top F, is visualized as columns in the parallel scan path. So we have center, label B, label F, top B, top F, besides the standard eye tracking areas of interest. So 
eye tracker didn't find, uh, couldn't record the eyes. And none means somewhere else, but not on the defined areas of interest. So let's go further. This participant then moved the attention um, over, over an area which has not been covered by, by an area of interest. You can see the green bubbles here on the left side. But then after a while again on the center, and then here, and this is now interesting, um, the attention um, is on the top of bar F. You can see that here with this column and here with the vertical lines going down, time is running from top to bottom, going down here for this time duration on the area of interest top F. After a while, he focused or she focused um, on uh, top B, then on the label B, then um, again here on top F, then somewhere else on the stimulus, moving the attention around, and finally on label B again. This visualization gives us now a good insight into the semantic patterns of this eye movement, so over the areas of interest or what the participant has focused on. We can do that now for all the participants in parallel. So I can select all the participants and we can have a look. You need a large screen in case of 30, 30 participants here. Um, uh, we can have a look on the transition path of all the participants. And with some practice, you can find here visually some pattern in the data. Another visualization which is very well known in eye tracking is the scarf plot. And I would like to uh, conclude this video by showing you the same data but in a different way. Um, I choose areas of interest, I choose all the participants and here we have the same visualization which I've shown you here. But in this visualization, in a scarf plot, the areas of interest are shown by different colors. And these colors or these areas of interest you can read here at the bottom. And when going down, you will immediately see how these um, labels here at the bottom are changing, showing the transition path over the areas of interest in a different way. In this video, we have used visualizations for finding patterns in the eye movements. In the next video, I will show you how you can use the artificial intelligence implemented in our software to automatically find patterns in the eye movements. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked the video, press the like button or subscribe to our channel. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next video.